Today I got two boxes to open up. Both are wrestling based boxes. This first one, I had the December 2019 Pro Wrestling Loot subscription box. You've got usually collectibles, autograph, possible t shirt, all for 25 bucks. Then I also have a purchase I made from the company Dark Parlor Originals that is actually signed Funko Pops, wrestler Funko Pops, and has signed 8x10. So we'll go ahead, we'll do the pro wrestling loot first. Since this is a total mystery, this one, I know what's in it, but you don't. We'll do this second. But first up, pro wrestling loot, $24.99 a month. A monthly box, excellent value for what you pay. They've had in the past signed figurines, lots of t-shirts, collectibles. They have a monthly pin. They have, let me just show you how that sound. So I'll make sure to leave a direct link down in the description box for the pro wrestling loot. And I will make sure and leave any kind of promo codes that are available right underneath of the direct link down below. So check that out. Here we go. What do we got? Okay. I feel something soft. It's not a t-shirt though. Something different. Something. Okay, let me just start pulling stuff out. First item. Oh, cool. We got another luchador mask. I think I've had, I think, what, two maybe luchador masks? Fun fact, this past Halloween, I actually, I think it was, I got out, was it a Rey Mysterio mask? I could be wrong on that, but it was a luchador mask that I actually wore on Halloween this year. And uh, I think, what was it, like yellow or orange, something like that? Red? Maybe it was a red mask, but I actually have a black mask. My favorite color actually is black. And so, actually, I really like this mask. I can't tell you off the top of my head which luchador wears this actual mask. But you know what? I got to do it. Luchador masks sometimes can take a minute or two to get the masks on. There. <laughs> just quickly just have it on here for just a second. But the back of it, you're supposed to tie up to make it nice and tight so that it fits better. Yeah. Cool. Looks good. So yeah, there is a new luchador mask for my wrestling collection. Next. Oh, okay, we got looks like some wrestling cards from the company Four Corner Cards. These are the September 2019 cards, but this is the December 2019 Pro Wrestling Loot Box. So it looks like they just included uh, probably like the last series, I bet you. I don't want to accidentally cut any of these cards. Let me just open it up. Without trying to make it all nice and pretty. There. Ooh, it has nice glossy cards. Got like Jake Atlas. I'll just skim through a few of these. Ooh, Martin. Um, he goes by Marty the Moth. Or at least he did in Lucha Underground. I think now he wrestles like, what, Impact maybe or something? I'm not 100% sure. Probably this card tells, I bet. More than likely. Let's see, he has, he's wrestled in Lucha Underground, UCW, FSW, ACW, FPW. So yeah, Marty the Moth, Volcana, The Untouchables, Tag Team Titans. Yeah, this has a lot of, looks like, uh, independent guys in here. A lot of these guys, over time, could become somebody, you know, big as time goes on. But yeah, very cool. So yeah, that's the whole set of cards right there. The September 2019 set of cards. So that was actually a nice little throwing right there. And I'll actually will keep you know close tabs to anybody that you know becomes like a WWE superstar or an AEW superstar. Next, this feels like a figurine. Oh, cool. We awesome. We got Brian Pillman Jr. In the past, we've had these figurines of was it Joey Ryan? Who else? Joey Ryan and uh, 
There's been a few more. I'm drawing a blank, of course. Here we got Brian Pillman Jr. This one is not autographed. The past few have been signed by the wrestler, but that is A-OK -okay because I can get this signed in, in, in the future by Brian Pillman Jr. Pretty cool figurine if you look at it. Nice vinyl figure. A lot of these vinyl figures like this cost like 10 to 15 bucks all by themselves. So that's cool. I like it. Let's see. Next, I got to cheat a little bit here. Here is the cheat sheet. And then we got a monthly pin. Oh, that's Dusty Rhodes. I had to look at it for a second to figure out who that was. But then I saw the polka dot wrestling tights that the that the that the guy's wearing, and yeah, that's Dusty Rhodes. Cool. Okay, so last thing in this box, we have the autographed eight by ten. I'll show you first, and that is. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing an absolute blank on this one. See, here is the, oh, we got another wrestling card right here. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank on this. This says, you know, sort of authenticity. Let me look at the cheat sheet. Hold on, I want to cheat on this one. Oh, Tracy Smothers. That's right. So this is signed, let me put the authentication right back in there before I lose it. This is signed by Tracy Smothers. Yeah, I was drawing a blank on that. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter how big of a uh, wrestling fan you are, sometimes you, you have your brain farts. So Tracy Smothers, the Lucha Mask is La Sombra, a.k.a. Andrade. Cool, I like the wrestling mask. Then wrestling cards, pin, trade card exclusive, and the Brian Pillman exclusive figure. So all that was only $25. So yeah. Good value box, once again. I really, my favorite item, well it's actually, I think it's kind of a tie between the Lucha Mask and the Brian Pillman figure. I like both of these quite a bit. Just these masks by themselves cost like 10, 15 bucks. It's the same for this figure, 10, 15 bucks. These two combined are pay for the entire box. So yeah, cool, I liked it. Good value for only $25. So we still have one more item in this video to open up. And it is Funko Pops autographed by some A, not AW, WWE superstars in an autograph 8x10 that I purchased. I think it was a Black Friday sale, I think. Pretty sure it was. From the company Dark Polar Originals. They were selling some of their older stock for very, very low discounted prices just to get rid of some old stock. And uh, I said, why not? One of these, I actually already have one, I think. Yeah. But anyway, here we go. Open that up. So here we have, what is this? Dark Parlor Originals, like a five by seven card. Thank you for your purchase. We are a small family business. So we greatly appreciate your business. Okay. So then we have a, a one Funko Pop. Two a Funko Pop. And then, here is the signed 8x10. Let's put these to, a, to the side. Let's do the signed 8x10 first. How does that sound? So this should be of wrestling legend. Rest, well, I can just say legend. She's, I just said, yeah, she's not a legend yet, but wrestling superstar. My favorite female active diva right now, Charlotte Flair. Yeah, they had these pictures on sale. I think they were like 20 bucks. They were very, very inexpensive. So I so so I bought one. Pretty sure it was a Black Friday special. I think it was like 20 bucks for this photo. It was signed at a private signing that Dark Pearl Originals did with Charlotte Flair. Very nice photo, autograph. I think it was like 20 bucks. And then let's see. Let me do, let me do that. I, I, do that one last. This one I actually already own, but mine is signed in purple, and this one is supposed to be signed in white. They had this one on sale for only thirty dollars on the website for just like a short amount of time, so I picked up a second one. This one should be signed in a white paint pen, and there we go. Another Charlotte Flair autograph Funko Pop.
Yep, that is signed in a white Sharpie. The first one I bought from them, it was signed in like a purple paint pen. And the purple paint pen does not look very good on this Funko Pop. It just did not stand out very nicely. It was, it just, it was not the right color to use on this pop. So then whenever they had these on sale with the white paint pen for only 30 bucks, I jumped on this thing in a heartbeat. So yeah, here is the authentication card once again from the private signing that Dark Parlor did with Charlotte Flair. So very happy. So actually I will then be selling or trading or something with the other Charlotte Flair sign Funko Pop because I don't need two of them. And I, I prefer the white paint pen. It shows up much, much better than the purple paint pen. I use purple paint pens on my Funko Pops, but it doesn't look good on every Funko Pop. And uh, like this, this one, because of the coloring, it needed to be either a green paint pen or a white paint pen. And uh, white on this looks, looks fantastic. But here, this is the other one that they had a very, very small supply left. That's, this is all they had. And I needed this one, I wanted this one, and I got it. I think this one was at $50, if I remember correctly, it was $50, and here we go. Boom. Braun Strowman, autographed Funko Pop. Nice, let me pull this thing out, take a little, little gander at this. So I did not have anything signed by Braun Strowman, so I'm pretty happy to have this pop signed by Braun. Nice. So it is signed in a blue paint pen. Give you that 360 view. He's got some blue in his his pants that he's wearing. So that blue paint pen actually looks pretty decent on this Funko Pop. I like it. Came out nicely. And of course here is the authentication card with the private signing that Dark Parlor did with Braun Strowman. Of course matches the sticker. So I think this one was 50 bucks is what I paid, if I remember correctly. I think this was 50, but yeah, no matter what, I'm very happy to have Braun Strowman. Actually, I'm very excited to have Braun Strowman. So yeah, that's what I got for this. So yeah, mystery subscription box from Pro Wrestling Loot. And three pickups that I purchased from a Black Friday highly discounted sale. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had fun. I've got some new autographs from my collection. Pretty excited about that. I'll see you next time, and I'm out. <laughs>